This is Don Smith at newsvideo.com. This is my website. And I wanted to show you a video of what we're going to do here. On the left, you'll see Apple Motion Project Digital 5 Bar VU Meter. And this is what we're going to wind up with. Now, this VU Meter I initially did as uh, where the segments wiped on. And because the action was so quick, no one noticed, but I wasn't happy with that. And thanks to a tip from Andy Neal at creativecow.net, these bars now turn on in their entirety as they are needed. And so it has the true effect. And uh, I'm going to show you how to do that as soon as I stop this. We'll go to a new motion project. And uh, the first thing I'm going to do is go to the audio tab, hit on the plus sign, and bring in the um, audio right now. We're going to use Sue Palmer's Room Service Boogie. Expose you heathens to some good boogie woogie. So I'll double click that. We've got the audio in. Now let's go back to the Layers tab. We're going to go up to the Rectangle tool and make a rectangle. Now, normally you don't have to worry about the color of this rectangle, but because we're going to change its color once it's inside a replicator, you want to start with white. Uh, if you use any other color, the luminance will be less than 100%. We'll hit the Escape key and then go up to the replicator and replicate it. And then we'll go to F1, Replicator. And in this replicator we want one column and uh, 26 rows for my purpose. One column, 26 rows, and then we'll go to the replicator here in the canvas and make that stack uh, more like I want it. So down the replicator inspector, the first stop is origin. We're going to set to bottom because we want these LED segments, and that's what they are, uh, to uh, turn on from the bottom. Under cell control color mode, we're going to go to over pattern and hit the disclosure triangle and we're going to set color tags, the first one being this red one. I am going to make that green. Click anywhere in this lower uh, color gradient, doesn't matter where right now. And we'll make that second one yellow. We'll create another one and make it orange. And this last one we're going to make red. Now you may not be aware of it, but this blank area, sometimes blank, sometimes with a triangle in it. If you have it selected and the interpolation between that color tag and the next one is continuous, you'll see that triangle. You may not see that triangle if it's on another interpolation. Doesn't matter. Starting with the, um, and you don't even have to activate the color tag. Like I can go to this orange one, just click between it and the red one and change the interpolation to constant for my purpose. And here's the yellow one, we'll change it to constant. Here's the green one, we'll change it to constant because I want hard changes. Look back on my stack and you'll see there's the hard changes. The colors don't blend one into the other. I want it to have four red bars at the top. So the first thing I'll do is take the red color tag and back it off until I have four bars of red at the top. Then I'll bring up the orange color tag until I have four orange bars. Do the same thing for the yellow. And now I have what I want. This is the first stack of LEDs in my digital VU meter. The next thing to do is to go up to Add Behavior, go to Replicator, Sequence, Replicator. Now in this behavior, we're going to add opacity, which will give us this slider. And I'm going to turn the opacity to zero because we're going to let the music turn it back above zero. We'll do the sequence from the bottom. And the spread we want is zero, so there's no ambiguity between two segments to turn on. It either is or it ain't. 
The traversal, we're going to change to custom so that we get this location. You'll see now there's nothing in my replicator, it appears, but we're going to uh, apply the audio to this location slider so that as it manipulates this location slider, it turns on and off the segments. So I'll return that to zero. Now I'm going to right click the word location and say audio. And that gives me an audio uh, parameter here. I'm going to select Sue Palmer's room service boogie and we're done. Now the real trick here, and um, this is the uh, the critical part that uh, Andy Neal uh, taught me on uh, in a reply on CreativeCow.net, is this down here. You apply it to, but that is already set because well I I tricked you uh, when I went to this location and right click to choose the audio, it created the uh, audio parameter with the apply to already going to location. Here's what you would do otherwise if you didn't know to uh, do it the way I just showed you is that you would choose location in the behaviors. Behavior, sequence replicator, sequence control, and location. And we're done. We've made our first segment. Now up here in the audio behavior, it affects the entire frequency range 100%. Now the rest is a no-brainer. What you're going to do is um, limit this first set of uh, LEDs to the first two audio segments. Let me get some audio segments showing there. And uh, and you're done there. Also, because there's so much uh, empty space up here, we might um, take uh, the ceiling and bring it down just a little bit. Let's say 75. That sounds good. So option click the disclosure triangle on this group. Let's uh, let's rename this group bar one, maybe stack one. Command D to duplicate it, and we'll uh, rename this bar two. Option click on the disclosure triangle. Highlight the audio behavior and let it affect the next two. stacks in this uh, frequency graph, this audio graph. And while we have uh, bar 2 highlighted, we'll drag and hold shift to constrain its movement. And uh, there you have the first two stacks of our digital VU meter. So back to the audio behavior, um, I won't go through the remaining three stacks, but the next stack is what I do, you can do it any way you like, is the next two bars of frequency range, then the next two, and then the remaining three until uh, you get all five, which I have uh, in this video online. Feel free to um, email me anytime at don at newsvideo.com. And thank you for watching.